whatever it is that's opposing you, it's a strength or a force within itself. And the design of it is to stop you, but you are pushing forward till you break out and you come over mightily. So now you break the bones. You break the strength. You break the strength of the thing that's trying to keep. I broke the strength of that. I broke the wheel of that. My wheel didn't break. I broke his wheel. Lord have mercy. you right there sitting on your couch or at your table or wherever you're watching this telecast I want you to say this right now I want you to say I be what God says I be I be it right now and I be nothing else I'm going to say it again I be what God says I be I be it right now and I be nothing else listen to this he said be strong in other words I want you to have a force strong is of course having force of will force of morale, force of intellect, and force of character. So force of will, he's saying, I want you to be strong enough to be able to force your will, to be able to impose your will. What is it that's in front of you right now that's trying to stop your advancement? What is it right now that you're dealing with that's trying to stop you from moving forward in your life and achieving or accomplishing the things that you desire? My friend, God has commanded you to be strong. So he's commanded you to have force of will. That is now to have the ability to impose your will against what is seeking to oppose against your will. I'll say it again. He's commanded you to have the ability to impose your will, to force your will on that which is seeking to stop you. I don't care what it is. You have the will to get up. You have the will to keep fighting. You have the will to go forward. You have the will to get the job done. You have the will to get up and face whatever difficulties or whatever problems that may present themselves to you on today. That is. If you receive this word, be strong. If you receive it right now, then you have right now force of will. Secondly, he was commanding Joshua to have force of morale. He was commanding Joshua to be able to force himself to be encouraged. You know, I believe that many times the difference between a person who succeeds and a person who fails is attitude. That's right, attitude. And if the enemy can succeed in discouraging you, if he can succeed in getting you depressed and discouraged uh, and getting you to the place where you uh, don't know how to encourage yourself, then, my friend, he's already won the victory over you. But if you receive this word today, here's what's happening to you right now. Force of morale is coming to you. You don't need anyone to pet you or stroke you or anoint you at all right now. All you need to do is tap into an ability that God has released in you to encourage yourself in spite of what you're seeing, in spite of what's stopping you, in spite of the opposition that is in front of you. I want you to know, my friend, God is commanding you to be, to be. Number three, he's commanding you to have force of intellect. You know, sometimes the difference between a person who succeeds and a person who fails is their information, their ability to inquire, to acquire information. Force of intellect gives you the ability to get the knowledge that you need to do the job that you have to do. The Bible says, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. 
Another place he said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. I believe that there is a demonic spirit that has attached itself to ignorance. That's right. And that spirit is causing us to experience destruction because of there are things that we just don't know. Well, listen, force of intellect gives you the ability to acquire the information. All intelligence is, is information. Having the right information for what you need to do the job that you have to do. I command you right now to be strong. I command you right now to have force of intellect. I command you right now to get up and go and get the information that you need to be successful in the thing that you're trying to do. Number four, last but not least, God's commanding you to have force of character. Force of character. That is, he's commanding you to have the ability to force yourself, to force yourself to, to acquire the characteristics that you need for success. There are things right now that are not conducive for where you're trying to go in you. Character issues, character problems. Things that are characteristic of you. Maybe maybe you have uh, in your character uh, um, a tendency to be discouraged and quit. And that's characteristic of you. Every time it gets real hard, every time it gets difficult to uh, it gets difficult for you, you have the tendency to quit. And it's become characteristic of you in every aspect of your life. Well, force of character gives you the ability to force yourself to change. That's right, my friend, to force yourself to change and take on the character or the characteristics that are conducive for your success. Listen to this. I believe that uh, the keys to success here then is going to be, can I, can you change you? Can I change me? Uh huh. Ask yourself. Is it the same uh, old? Is it the same old me with the same old problems, the same old issues, the same old situation in the same old with the same old circumstances? I'll say it again. Is it the same old you with the same old issues, the same old problems in the same old situation with the same old circumstances, my friend? If it is, if you are in the same old situation. If you're facing the same issues, if you're facing the same circumstances and the same situation that stopped you before, then it is because it is the same old you. Oh, yeah. When I change me, when you change you, then you will change the circumstances that are stopping you. You will change those problems. You will, you will develop some type of plan that will change those circumstances that have been prevailing against you. A new you will not allow the same old problems to dominate you and control your life and stop you from the success that God has for you. Say the best is yet to come. Say the best is yet to come.